Hey, it's Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're going to do a short introduction into S3 because on the Certified Cloud Practitioner, they ask you a little bit more than they used to, and so we need to be a bit familiar with S3 because it is, um, at least I think that ABUS considers its flagship uh, storage uh, service, and it really is one of the earliest services. It was the second one ever launched. Okay, so what is object storage or object-based storage? So data storage architecture that manages data as objects as opposed to other storage architectures. So file systems where, uh, these are others, right? So which manages data as files and a hierarchy and block storage, which manages data as blocks with, within sectors and tracks that get stored on an actual uh, drive. And so uh, the idea here is we have S3, which provides basically unlimited storage. You don't need to think about the underlying infrastructure. The S3 console provides an interface for you to upload and access your data, okay? So we have the concept of an S3 object. So objects contain your data. They are like files, but objects may consist of a key. This is the name of the object, a value, the data itself made up of a sequence of bytes, the version ID, when versioning enabled the version of the object, metadata, additional information attached to the object. And then you have your S3 buckets. So buckets hold objects. Buckets can also have folders, which in turn hold objects. S3 is a universal namespace. So bucket names must be unique. It's like having a domain name, okay? And one other uh, interesting thing is an individual object can be between zero bytes and up to five terabytes. So you have unlimited storage, but you can't have uh, files of uh, uh, incredible size. Uh, I mean, five terabytes is a lot, but nothing beyond that for a single file. But just understand that you can actually have a zero byte file. Uh, and for like associate certifications, that can be a, uh, an actual question. So that's why it's there.